okay so again i will discuss about bayes rule and various problem based on this and one more thing that uh, uh, we will discuss here uh, in today's tutorial class uh, after uh, solving few problems i will ask to solve problem to all the student i will pass that question so in uh, you have to solve those and have to submit the screenshot of solution there in the uh, given link you have to solve you have to upload that that i will convey the, uh, in the second uh, part of today's lecture so coming to bayes rule so you had already seen the definition of bayes rule always you what you do you are having two things so one is cause another one is effect or effect so cause leads to effect or effect or conclusion there are various name so if it is uh, cause is leading to some kind of conclusion or effect then you have once you come to know conclusion or effect or effect then based on that you have to find the probability of uh, causes you have to find the probability of causes condition on the effect or effect or conclusion so like that so uh, so initially you are having sample space like this way and you come up with a partitioning of the sample space uh, through uh, some kind of expertise or some kind of information given in the question itself and you come up with partitioning and this partition member happens to be b1 b2 uh, like uh, up to bn then what you do uh, here in the sample space one conclusion or, or effect is happening so that we call it a this one is the this is the a this one is the conclusion or effect we call it a so uh, in, you know the bi is a scenario or prior information or some kind of uh, expertise uh, things from the expert uh, expert that uh, if you are uh, uh, trying to uh, work on some field definitely you will get expertise over that so based on that all those things are coming so if that situation is there now if something is happening there then uh, that as an effect or conclusion uh, how it, it will change the probability of those scenario how it will change change the probability of those scenario whether your initial belief or in prior, prior information uh, uh, happens to be right or wrong so it will check or it will investigate that things so that's way that means you here you know simply what what are the probability of bi's here you know here probability of bi must be greater than 0 that means these are the possible events greater than 0 means possible event so here probability of bi greater than 0 you know these things okay now once you come to know about a then you want to update the probability of b that you call it uh, updated probability or you call it posterior probability so all about you have to compute pro pro posterior probability based on some kind of conclusion or effect so probability of bi given a you have to compute this one this one uh, how much uh, it will verify that whether your prior scenario or given scenario are right or wrong if it is updating that means if it is increasing that that means your prior scenario is nice and if it is not uh, uh, going in a upward direction it is going di downward direction then some that means you have done some mistake so you have to improve it so it is giving one chance uh, chance of uh, uh, that letting to know that whether you are right or wrong in the prior information so that that chance here. and later you will see that it is playing very important role in various kind of inference problem very you are having data uh, from the data you try to infer something so in those kind of things yeah, Bayes rule is always very interesting kind of uh, technique to solve those problem so in the last problem we had discussed uh, grouping of graduate four graduate student and 12 undergraduate a stu a student in four groups so in four group we are and in such a way that each group contains only one graduate student so we had solved we had seen the solution so today i will talk about uh, another approach it is much simpler than that so we are having four group that means call it this one is group one uh, this one is group two uh, this one is group three and this one is group four you call it this one is group one so how many uh, boxes would be there four student will come there in the first so four boxes would be there in the second also four boxes would be there and in each group 
uh, only one graduate student would be there. Rest of uh, student would boxes will be filled by undergraduate student. Okay, so one plus three scenario would be there. Now, if you are taking this kind of drawing, then uh, if I ask A1, A1 is the uh, situation that uh, graduate student one and two are in different group that we had defined in the last class. You can see this A1. A1 and A2, 1 and 2 are student. Name graduate student 1, 2, 3 and 4. And A1 is event saying that graduate student 1 and 2 are in different class. So if that scenario is there, then tell me how many, what is the probability of A1? Directly, we had computed in the last case probability of A1 in a very uh, uh, different way, in complement way we had computed. Now today I am asking to compute probability of A1 directly. How you will compute directly? What is the probability of A1? Directly give answer in number, directly 4C1. So how you will compute it? 4 A1, that means what is the scenario? What are the option of uh, 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 if you talk, what is the sample sample space? What is the number of elements in the sample space for for A1 scenario? 16. Think huh, think again. So A1 is uh, saying that one is already occupied. So one and two are not in the same group. same group. Both are in different group. So one is already occupied. So sample space will have size 15 size. So in denominator, what would be 15? 15 only just wait the computation. We are talking about A1 and 2, not about all, okay. Uh, 1 and 2, graduate student 1 and 2. Now tell me, how many options the graduate student 2 is having? 3. Think. Definitely A1 is saying that graduate student 1 and 2 are not in the same group. That means graduate student 2 is having how many options? Just see it. 0. How many options it is having? See, I have already drawn the plot. It is having 12 options. It will not come in the first group. You call it this first group, call it G1. Because why? In G1, we have already taken 1. We have taken 1. So how many options graduate student 2 is having? 16 minus 4. It is 12. 12. So what is the probability of uh, A1? 12 by 15. Same solution I have already uploaded there without drawing. Now, if you come to talk about uh, A2, what is the problem? So, you are not directly going to compute A2. What you will compute? Probability of A2 given A1. You will compute what is the probability of A2 given A1? That means uh, group 1 is already done. You are talking about group 2. The A2. A2 is talking about a student 1, 2, and 3 are in different groups. So what is the probability of A2 given A1? That means A1 and A2 are in already in different group. A1 and A2 are already in different group. What does it mean? That means suppose simplicity we say that 2 is coming in the second group. Call it G2. Now tell me what is the for in order to compute probability of uh, uh, A2 given A1, what is the probability of A2 given A1? What is the sample uh, si size of uh, sample space, new sample space? 14. 14. Very 11. 11. Huh. What is the size? Someone is saying 14, someone is saying 11. So which answer I have to take? I have to take answer from your side because we have already solved this problem. Just give me a single answer. What is the probability of uh, uh, for uh, computing probability of A2 given A1? How many element in the new sample space would be? In the denominator, what would be number? 
14 it would be why one and two are already occupied so how many vacancies are there 14 so in denominator that one is count of new sample space number of element in new sample space so 14 will be there now talk about three what are the choices of three whether three will come in g1 or in g2 not allowed so what are the how many choices eight choices so probability of a2 given a1 is 8 by 14 now come to what is the probability of a3 given a1 a2 a1 comma a2 what is the what is the probability directly compute uh, use notebook as well what is the probability of so g2 is already g3 is already engaged are you getting meaning of this or not this competition is easier than previous one or not previous one i had put in the framework of multiplication rule uh, multiplication uh, sorry law, principle uh, principle of counting i had put in that framework okay uh, this we are directly using counting principle directly we are computing okay this one is g3 now tell me what is the probability of uh, a3 given a1 and a2 probability of a3 given a1 and a2 comma is also calling it and i have already mentioned a2 what is this probability 4 by very nice why 13 because three places are already occupied by graduate student 1 2 3 and remaining are places are 13 sample space new sample space is having count 13 and if you talk about in the last group how many options uh, the last graduate student is having four how many options it is having four options okay so what is the final answer it is 4 by 30 so what is uh, your desired probability 4 by 13 what is your desired probability that means probability of a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 so just you have to apply multiplication rule and here it will come as probability of a1 into probability of uh, a2 given a1 into probability of a3 given a1 and a2 and hence this is the final answer what you have same answer and the same question we had already competed in this way this one is uh, actually uh, here uh, this method we have taken in very generic sense if you are taking another kind of problem so like uh, 8 student and 12 uh, 8 graduate and 12 undergraduate and something like that different kind of so general perspective you are solving so better go for combinatorial approach this one is combinatorial approach and it is just coming from uh, uh, boxes counting the first uh, this approach what second approach what is uh, what we discuss it is boxes counting so that's why i had told that uh, if you follow that uh, casey sina book uh, algebra there in uh, plus two you might have already seen that so in some of example uh, he has discussed about boxes approach you can recall it like that boxes uh, that one is very beneficial approach to compute uh, probability of uh, uh, an event when you are dealing finite sample space when you are dealing, dealing finite sample space is it clear to everyone and you are free to solve a problem using any method it is not like that you have to go for what method we have discussed in class i am trying to discuss a very general or simple kind of method so that that one is my approach now second problem yesterday one of student asked regarding basketball team problem solution is already given there in ross it is a solved problem in ross it is very simple problem if you talk about it is problem is talking about uh, it is not related with uh, base rule last problem was really uh, it was based on multiplication rule the last problem was example of multiplication rule this one is example of just computing probability of an event so it is like uh, a basket 
ball team consists of six black player and six white player why because ross is from america so black and white kind of category is there so and the players are to be paired in a group of two for the purpose of determining roommates in a room there would be two players in pair wise allocation of room okay so that so if the pairing are done at random that mean that means uniform law probability is uniform law then what is the probability that none of the black player will have a white roommate that you have to compute this is the event that you are willing to compute it is a very simple problem it is a very simple problem what situation is coming here so you are having uh, how many rooms you are having six rooms okay each room can, uh, contains uh, two players okay each room can accommodate two so it is one kind of uh, dice kind of approach you might be uh, dice is having 1 2 3 4 5 six uh, outcome in a single trial okay so you have to count all possible trial what are the uh, so it is a multinomial problem you can call it multinomial problem tell me first box how you can fill up in how many way you can fill up in total how many player you are having 12 so 12 c2 that means uh, better call is, don't uh, call it uh, c like uh, here choose word is better word so 12 choose 2 so it will be 12 choose 2 then second Ten choose two. And third would be eight choose two. Six choose two. you can note down in in your copy uh, it would be much uh, clear to you if you are note, noting down there also because writing practice is also one way of learning and last uh, room will be occupied by two choose two okay. tell me is it a combination or permutation combination again think is it a permutation or combination it is a permutation arranging we are arranging we are arranging so we will see it so arrange it is arrange uh, arranging we are arranging like this way this this one is arrangement okay and each arrangement is having how many boxes six there are six uh, arrangement na no? so if you talk about uh, regarding uh, combination then in combination is not talking about what order combination happens to be unordered and permutation is happens to be arrangement happens to be ordered order counting uh, permutation is uh, permutation is order counting and uh, combination is unordered counting so just take this example one arrangement we take it one two Player one two together in a room. Player three four in another room. Player five six in another room. Uh, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. So it, it is one arrangement. Okay. And here, uh, if you talk about uh, three four one two seven eight five six nine ten eleven twelve, this one is another ar arrangement. As per arrangement wise, permutation wise, arrangement one and two are different. But if you do grouping, whether what about these two? What about these two? If you talk about grouping, combination, these two would be same, na? If you talk about grouping, like here you talk about, uh, uh, so here in first room three four is coming, in second room one two is coming, uh, in the second arrangement, in the first arrangement it is reverse of that. So both are actually in the group wise both are same. in group uh, group wise if you do grouping or uh, in combination wise both are same 
so that's way you have to reduce the number of uh, uh, arrangement by factorial of the size or sample size what is the sample size 6 so you have to divide this uh, per, um, arra number of arrangement by factorial 6 so it was it is coming here factorial 6 that one is the permutation now how you are getting perm uh, sorry that one is the combination how you are getting permutation combination you divide permutation by factorial k if you are talking about arrangement of k, k, k people from n out of n people then what is the permutation factorial n divided by factorial n minus k and what is the combination In combination that means uh, you are not taking order into consideration okay whether you write 1 2 or 2 1 both are same both are same in unordered fashion both are, it is grouping wise if you are putting people in a group that means you are not going to look into order so that's it. so you have to divide by factorial case same here sample size is 6 so you have to divide by factorial 6 so this one is giving uh, all possible un unordered count of 6 pairs so this is the count so this is the size of sample space this is the size of sample space this one is all possible pairing the uh, for the 6 rooms okay now if you what is the probability that you are willing to compute that none of black player will have a white roommate that means you have to distribute all the black player in just three rooms how many black player are six just they need how many rooms three rooms so what is the combinations what are the possible combinations what is the order call in the similar way you can do it what you have done for uh, six rooms you have to do it for three rooms so the factorial 12 will be replaced by factorial 6 and factor, uh, factorial uh, uh, 2 to the power 6 will be replaced by factorial 2 to the power 3 and you, here you have to divide by factorial 3 same competition it is it is what it is order of or cardinality of the event this we call it sample uh, this one is the card uh, size of size of event this is the event none of the none of the black player will have the will have a white player so that we call it a and what is the size of sample space it is this is the size of sample space this is your size of sample space so what is the desired probability what is the desired probability number of element in the event divided by number of element in the sample space this is the solution very simple question it is not there is no much uh, uh, issue here in this problem all about that it is dealing with uh, multinomial and you people might be not aware of multinomial approach mostly you you might have done a lot of practice with binomial coefficient so it is dealing with multinomial coefficient directly you can deal it. so better approach this side is multinomial this this side is multiplication rule this side is in right side you observe multiplication um, sorry multinomial coefficient you observe any question here I, I think uh, there would be no issue is it visible to everyone okay now then we had discussed uh, Bayes rule and uh, just uh, we had discussed Bayes rule and today we will do several examples based on Bayes rule so Bayes rule again uh, we say that uh, it is what it is restatement of definition of conditional probability we are restating definition of conditional probability in order to compute posterior probability so we know that this is what it is multiplication rule from where it is coming from the definition of conditional probability what was the definition of conditional probability probability of a given b if you are observing b first then you will compute conditional probability of a given b if you are observing a first then you have to compute probability of b given a so whichever you observe first based on that you are computing conditional probability so probability of a given b it is probability of uh, occurrence of a in the vicinity of b joint that means joint occurrence of a and b and you have to normalize it by probability of b this one is normalizing factor that means what is the probability of happening of a from the scenario of b that you can say that conditional probability is what is the probability of happening of a from the given scenario b 
So that we had already seen that uh, several times I am uh, talking about. It. So re, uh, we had already seen this multiplication rule and from here what you do? Uh, you are trying to compute probability of B given A through this formula. This one is the Bayes rule. This is the Bayes rule. But in uh, partition ways, if you come up with simple space omega having a partition uh, B i's this is the partition b1 b2 up to bn then how you come so why you come up with partition because you know the idea of introducing partition either question in question there would be some idea or some hint would be given there so you know so that's why you come up with partitioning like uh, partitioning of a student uh, uh, branch wise uh, csc data science ec and something like that or section wise or something like that that part some idea you, you can come up with it in order to introduce partitioning of the simple space and uh, once you are so that one is a prior first attempt approach if you come up with that approach and you come up, come up with the conclusion something like that then you have to update the probability of those partition probability of bi given a that you computed by Bayes rule that we call it so actually this one is coming here so this one is explicit form this one is the right form that you are writing it here and you need to know that probability of bi we call it prior probability that means initial belief or prior probability probability of a given bi that means likelihood you don't know probability of a simply you know that you don't know probability of a directly so under this scenario what you do you try to compute probability of likelihood of a not true probability of a likelihood of a under the scenario of bi's so that's when likelihood likelihood is not directly giving exact probability it is under the various scenario you are computing okay so likelihood of observing uh, or occurrence of a under the scenario of bi and what is the probability of bi given a that is the updated probability of bi once you will be able to compute probability of a okay from the data you will be able to compute probability of a then uh, you are trying to update the probability of bi this is this you are willing to compute it it is updated probability okay so this we had already discussed and a uh, bi we are calling it causes and a we call it effect causes lead to leads to effect in various scenario so this example uh, actually have you discussed this example I, I think uh, we haven't discussed. So this one is a very famous example that medical uh, diagnosis for a rare disease that may be cancer or something like that. So suppose you are not well and go to a doctor. The doctor fears your symptoms may, symptoms, what are the symptoms? Symptoms may be consistent with serious disease. Suppose it is a cancer, say. So in the present case, medical statistics saw that patients who have the disease test positive those who are having disease test po positive how many times 95 percent what is the so what kind of probability 95 percent is that means 0.95 what kind of, is it uh, elementary probability or basic probability any uh, elementary probability that means probability of a you are not putting any and uh, conditional probability is probability of A given B, something like that. So what kind of 0.5 is what 95 percent or 0.95, what kind of probability this one? It is conditional probability. While patient who do not have the disease test positive 2 percent. What is scenario of this one? What we call it? Test positive, having no disease. But when that person went for test, it is giving positive result. That we say that false positive. That scenario is false positive. That person is not having disease, but it is reading positive, <coughs> false positive. So in the general population, one in thousand po people in your age group have the, this disease. So this one is giving probability of having disease. Is it conditional or elementary probability or basic? This one is elementary probability. There is no conditioning. So probability of D simply you will call it. That one is 1 by 1000. A week after the test, your doctor calls you back with the result and the test came back positive. The test is positive. 
doctor is saying that test is positive given this in information you have to compute probability that you are actually having the disease that you have to compute so this one is again what uh, probability you have to compute conditional probability you have to compute so it is updated probability so see the given the information a test result uh, te you are having the fear disease probability of d given the test result you have to compute that so we will compute uh, we will introduce some some kind of event here call a be the event that test come come back positive b be the be the event that you have the disease so our modeling assumption is that first assumption you can borrow it from this uh, statement 90% of people with the disease test positive that means probability of a given b is 0.95 probability of a given b is 0.95 a is what uh, test positive simply you can say the test positive or b is what having disease now second information is saying that 2% of patient without the disease test positive what does it mean having no disease that means a given b complement false positive what is that value probability of false positive is what 0 0.02 then the third information is 1 in 1000 people have the disease that means probability of b 1 by 1000 0.001 so all these uh, information we have converted into probability in numeric form now what we have to compute we have to compute probability of having disease given test positive a is the test positive so probability of b given a just you have to apply uh, i am writing it uh, as per definition of uh, conditional probability but don't use, use it just directly come to here this one is the bayes rule this one is how we write bayes rule say that probability of b given a you will read it probability prior probability of b probability of b that one is prior probability of b into likelihood of a from the scenario of b okay divide by total probability of a how you will get total probability of a so what is the partition of sample space in this question b n b complement b is having disease b complement having not disease so partition is very simple partition the complete population you have divided into two category having disease not having disease so simple partition you, so that's way in the in the process of computing probability of a you have to apply total uh, probability law so that's why two terms are coming here one term this one is with respect to uh, b probability of b into probability of a given b plus probability of b complement into probability of a given b complement are you getting meaning of this or not so this one is then denominator you are com com computing total probability okay and simplify this computation the value is 0.045 so if you convert in percentage what is value despite of the person is having positive test what is the probability of being having disease convert in percentage what is the pro probability what is the percentage approximately this one would be 4.5 percent so 5 percent you can say that 5 percent is a very little things or percentage okay it is 5 percent approximately 5 percent you can say that so it is a very small amount it is not uh, going to bother you okay despite of having positive test it is the what is the probability of having disease given that test is positive it is just 5 percent so that one is not a risky thing okay so don't have to worry about so uh, this one is one example of bayes rule another example we can talk about drug test bayes rule is very much applicable in drug test as well if uh, one uh, pharmacist is coming with uh, new drug then they always apply uh, some kind of investigation so a drug test say a t has 1% of false positive that is 1% of those not taking drug saw positive in the test false positive they are not taking drug but when they go for test it is reading positive that one is false positive let me say that and 5% of false negative that means 5 5% of those who have already taken drug tested negative so false negative that one is the false negative suppose that 2% of those tested are 
taking drug okay taking drugs 2% of those test are taking drug compared to the probability that somebody who test positive is actually taking drug so you have to uh, compute this probability this one is again a conditional probability so all you have to formulate in a very systematic way in event wise so t equal to p you call it uh, uh, test positive t equal to n you call it test negative uh, d equal to p you call it person take drug d equal to n you call it person doesn't take drug okay so all these formulation of event you have already formulated first job is already done now take control of information in the given question first information is false positive what is the um, probability 1% what is the probability of false uh, positive? 1%. That means probability of, of t equal to p given d equal to n. That means those not taking drug saw positive result in the test. Okay. So that one is 0.1. And from here uh, you can find probability of complement. Easily you will get you will get this probability. Probability that uh, test positive given that the person takes drug through complementation you will get this result okay and like uh, uh, this we call it a true positive so actually it is confusion matrix kind of things you can divide like here we call it uh, p n uh, actually completely you have to t equal to p t equal to n here in the row t equal to p and t equal to n if you try to draw this problem in this framework you, you may have better understanding and here it would be d equal to p and d equal to n in your notebook try to draw it and put all the data there in the table put all the data in the tabular tabular form and the understanding might be much more easier d equal to n okay so tell me where is false positive false positive means t equal to p given d equal to n t equal to p that means those who are taking drugs saw positive result in the test t equal to p and d equal to n this one is the false positive and likewise false negative also you can get what is the meaning of false negative t equal to n and d equal to p this is false negative you can so uh, put this probability here and rest of uh, true negative and true what is true negative and true positive this would be a true negative and true positive it will come along the diagonal diagonal so it is not like that it is locked that you will take t along row you can take t along column as well as per your choice which your uh, approach you are willing to go for that so all the data are given here and just you have to apply here again uh, problem is very simple you have to apply uh, uh, Bayes rule in order to compute probability of d equal to that uh, that uh, uh, compute the probability that somebody is test positive actually and uh, that person uh, test positive it is given and what is the probability that uh, that person has taken drug probability of d equal to p given uh, that person test positive probability of d equal to p given t equal to p uh, these are little bit comp uh, uh, complex if you are giving all these name if you just call it uh, d and d complement and t and t complement then your uh, space would be much uh, smaller if you go that in that framework and just it is taking base rule and the problem is uh, what is the solution solution is 0.68 it is just simple and the similar to last problem okay another problem is like, uh, regarding oral exam problem so in an oral exam you have to solve exactly one problem which might be of three type it may be of type A or it may be type B or it may be type C. So uh, these type A, B and C, these problems come with probability uh, 30%, 20% and 50% respectively. Okay. During your preparation, 
uh, you have solved 9 of 10 problem of type A during the preparation. 9 of 10 problem of type A you have solved. Then uh, uh, 2 of 10 problem of type B you have solved and 6 of 10 problem of type C you have solved. This one is the given information. Now you have to compute two things. One is with respect to total probability. Then you will proceed to compute posterior probability. You had already seen that while computing posterior probability, there you need total probability. Okay. So first question is to compute the probability that you will solve the problem of the exam in various scenario. You have to solve the. What is the problem? Uh, what is the probability of solve solving problem? Probability of solve. Okay. That first that we call it total probability. Second, given you have solved the problem that we have already solved this wrong. What is the probability that it is coming from type A? Probability of A given solve that you have to compute. So that one is uh, posterior probability. So just take benefit of the given information. So, so all the pro here uh, it is very easy to compute probability of solve. So it is just uh, what total pro probability of A given uh, here probability of A. So it is partitioning partitioning is coming like question have you have already partitioned into three type A B and C. All question has been partitioned into three types A, B, C. So, uh, probability of solve is here, it is coming. This one is solve. This event you call it solve. Okay. So, how you will compute probability of A intersection solve plus probability of B intersection solve plus probability of C intersection solve. So, you have to apply again multiplication rule there because probability of A, B, C both are given here. All three, sorry, all three are given here. Probability of A into probability of uh, solve given A plus probability of B, and all these probability are given here. So, what is the probability of A? What is the probability of A? Yeah, all these are here. What are the probability of ABC? What is the probability of ABC? Order is changed here. Probability, these are the probability. You have divided the problems into three types, in which 30% are A types, 20% are of B type, and 50% of C type that the probability of A is what 30 percent, probability of B is 20 percent, probability of C is uh, 50 percent. So, this one is talking about uh, it is actually conditional probability. This one, uh, this one is actually order is little change here. This is probability of A is 30 percent means 0.3 and 20 percent point 0.2 that uh, that you competition you know so simplify all these you got uh, total probability of 0.61 this is the total probability of solve now what you have to find once you have computed total probability probability of solve you have to compute that what is the probability th that it is of type 1 type a sorry type a probability of a given solve that you have to compute so how you will compute it by using Bayes rule. So, Bayes rule is again coming here. Probability of A given solve is equal to prior probability of A into likelihood of solve given scenario A divided by probability of solve that you have computed here. So, that you have already computed. So, actually it is one question I have just divided into two question. Okay. Anyhow, you have to compute total probability and just simplify this one. The final answer is 0.442. This is the answer. See, in all three questions, we have seen similar approach. Similar approach. In all three questions, we have seen Bayes rule. Similar, uh, similar approach we have already seen. Any question here till now? Okay, you have to do a lot of practice. These are very simple questions. Then there is a question. Actually, I didn't come up with. Uh, uh, one interesting question that one is airport question. So, you can get uh, that question in 
uh, my book in archive it is, i have already uploaded there you can find that question otherwise i will post, post that question there in classroom if you are interested those are really very interesting question now we will start another framework to quantify probability in function approach function everyone might be com comfortable are you comfortable with function or not because calculus everyone enjoy a lot calculus in plus 2 so so we so it that looks more uh, doable mathematics kind of things so we will compute probability so till now in module 1 is already finished we have already finished module 1 in module 1 our approach was to compute probability through set theory approach so everywhere event were expressed in term of set or subset kind of thing now we are changing the idea we are coming with uh, idea of uh, set theory uh, numeric approach quantification approach so probability i had already told that it is measure of randomness or quantification of randomness or quantification of uncertainty when you talk about quantification of uncertainty there would be no more here set of arbitrary nature here we will have numbers we have to deal with always numbers so how we can come up with numbers if i am saying i am taking a example that uh, three tosses of a coin how you can come up with numbers three tosses of a coin so tell me how how will you will come up with numbers your answer you can say that i don't if you don't know simply you can say that i don't know but uh, if you know till now you have already finished uh, module 1 so you have some idea you can come up with something so if you are tossing uh, a coin three times then you can come up with sample space what would be the sample space how many elements the sample space will have eight what are the structure of those uh, outcome h h h head 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 then head head tail then head tail head i am writing this outcome from the quantification perspective it is not like that in uh, arbitrary way i am writing it then tail head head How many counts are there? How many outcome? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 more we have to then tail tail head tail you can raise a question why I am writing all like this tail head tail and i am very much sure that i won't commit mistake i will write all the outcome if you are following some principle you head tail how many seven seven outcomes one two three four five six seven now tail 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 the last outcome so we come up with this information we are tossing a coin three times or three tosses you come up with this is the sample a space now tell me how you can quantify these are this each uh, here uh, ma'am outcome you can den denote it by omega omega is random in nature omega may be any of these eight okay now tell me how you can bring number so uh, hh all these are not numbers these are some kind of representation of uh, that outcome what we are getting it omega so these are number how you will convert into number any numeric thing you observe it here you get in order to convert uh, this omega that means uh, i am saying that map omega sample space to some subset of real numbers 
some subset that means real number is the collection of numbers now real number is the collection so we have to uh, uh, map omega to some subset of real numbers so how will map that any idea here yeah, one is one approach is number of head, uh, heads. Okay, number of heads. You will call it. It is a function. It is a function. So number of head. It is a map from where to where. Zero to two. Not zero to. It is omega sample of space. Omega to range of x that we will denote it by omega x and omega x. It is a subset of real number. It is subset of real number. Real number. I had told that write R and put a extra line, vertical line. So that is talking. R is simply alphabet, English alphabet. When you put extra line, then it becomes set of real numbers. It is having notation. Then you are writing R with extra line. It is set of all real line, uh, real numbers. So it is de denoting a set. So that's way. So your omega is a, what is this one? It is range of x. You will read it how you will call it. It is uh, you will define it like this way here. It is x of omega. How you write range of a function? Like if I, you are defining f, a function from a set a to b. Then how you define range of f? How you define range of a function? F of x such that x belongs to a domain of the function. So same way, x is a function. Capital X is a function. So we say that range of x is x of omega. Why? Because omega uh, here capital omega is talking about sample space, and our domain is sample space. Omega belongs to a small omega belongs to capital omega sample space. Okay. So x of x of this omega is a range of x. Okay, it is range of x. You, you are getting it like this way. So tell me, oh, x is a very generic in way we have written it. So you say that if you are taking omega from a small omega from sample of space omega capital omega capital omega this one is a greek letter capital and x of omega belongs to where where does it belongs to x of omega it belongs to omega x that one is the range of the function x okay range of function x Note first point. This is the first point. This is the second point. X is any arbitrary member. Now, if you are saying that it is a function, so we, here we haven't we we haven't taken definition of explicit definition of function. What is the explicit definition of function that we can define it here? What is the explicit definition? We can. Uh, you had mentioned number of heads. So your that you are giving name to function. Your definition name uh, definition of function. You call it. It is talking number of heads. So it is a function. It is defining a function over omega, capital omega, number of heads. It is a function. So tell me how mapping is happening. Where it will map to? What is the map of uh, H H H? What is the image of H H H? Where, what is the pre? What is the image of H H H? It is three. So right here. What is image of H H T? It is two. What is image of H T H? What is image of H T H? That one is also two. What is image of THH? That one is also 2. What is image of TTH? 1. 
इमेज ऑफ टी एच टी अगेन इमेज ऑफ एच टी टी वन एंड व्हाट इज इमेज ऑफ टी 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 जीरो सो हियर व्हेन यू आर सेइंग दैट एक्स इज नंबर ऑफ हेड्स इन थ्री टॉसेस ऑफ ए कॉइन देन वेदर x is a function legitimate function or not or well defined function or not is it a well defined function or legitimate function is it a function or not what i am saying is it a function or not so if you are verifying a function what are the test for verifying a function how you do, how do you verify a function what are the test you see averageness and uniqueness Have I discussed everyness and uniqueness? It is just part of calculus. Everyness. That means every element of the domain must be engaged. That one is everyness. It is not like that there is a element in the domain which is not mapped to any other image, any any image. That should be not allowed. Everyness should be there. That means every element of the domain must be mapped to some number in the codomain. What is the codomain? R. Codomain is R. range is omega x so every ele element of the domain must be mapped to some number in uh, codomain everyness is satisfied what about uniqueness uniqueness satisfied second part of function is uniqueness what does it mean what is meaning of uniqueness it is i am just asking definition of function every element of domain must be mapped to some element in codomain some means unique element it is not like that uh, one element from domain will map to two element in the codomain is it possible in the function have you seen that kind of thing do you see that two branches are coming out from the domain not like that so actually function we are defining single valued function we have two branches are also possible when you are going for multi valued function in complex analysis or in later case you will study that multi valued function right now you don't have to go for that you are just studying function means by default it is a single valued function single means unique value so that means every element of the domain map to unique element in the codomain unique so that is uniqueness so those two properties is it clear to everyone or not is it clear do you see that uh, triple h h h h is mapped to 3 and 4 2 it is not allowed you can't see two branch will come out from the element of domain there is not two branch convergence uh, two element will converge uh, to same that one is allowed okay that we what what is name of this function what is name of this function many one so it is a many one function example of many one function many one and uh, but one many is not possible that one would be not a single valued function that would be multi valued function we are so uh, what we will call so what we observe that we here this set was what uh, not in numeric form but what is omega x range of x what is omega x what element it contains zero 1 2 and 3 what are these number what are these things these are number so you have quantified outcome of a random experiment of tossing three coins or tossing uh, a coin three times into number those are 0 1 2 3 so tell me here two questions will come there what is x x is a function that function we will call it a random variable we will call it a random variable and new name random variable why random word is coming it is a variable but we are not denoting it by a small letter we are denoting it by capital letter so it is a variable but random in nature so due to random nature we denote it by capital x now if i ask what is the source of randomness in the uh, random variable what is the source how so if i say that here two things you observe here what are two things one is 
omega another is x you have observed so tell me x is having randomness x is having randomness random means uh, you are not certain it is uncertain can you say that x is having randomness yes or no answer x is not having randomness x is just a function function generally can't be random in nature okay x then what is the source of randomness in in the value of x omega is the source of randomness omega is the source of randomness like omega is coming through random experiment na so omega is the source of randomness here so that's way x of omega becomes a random numbers why it is random number why it is can you say that a zero will come with probability 1 no if you are saying that uh, zero is not coming with probability 1 then that means you are not certain that means you are uncertain then if you are uncertain you have to quantify the, that uncertainty that means what is the probability of coming x equal to 0 that you have to compute what is the probability of x equal to 0 how you will compute it what is the probability of x equal to 0 how you will compute x equal to 0 if x is observing value 0 what is the probability so you will look back to inverse image of 0 what is the inverse image of 0 are you getting meaning of inverse image all these are part of uh, function definition of function okay so you have to recall all if you are facing any problem so what is the uh, so probability of x equal to 0 it would be equal to probability of inverse image of 0 and what is the inverse image of 0 it is t t t triple t t t t and triple t is having a probability what is the probability why because it is equally likely through equally likely uh, principle or uniform law probability of t t t is having 1 by 8 value 1 by 8 that's why you are saying that what is the probability of x equal to 0 1 by 8 that means 0 is a random number what is the probability of visualizing zero what is the probability of visualizing zero 1 by 8 it is not 1 so it is not a certain thing it is a random number that means a random variable map random outcome of a sample space to some what to some random number it is mapping to random number random outcome to random number random outcome of a experiment random experiment to some random number it is mapping what is the probability of 1 x equal to 1 what is the probability of x equal to 1 it is 3 by 8 why three outcome of the random exper experiment are mapped to 1 so 1 by 8 1 by 8 how many time coming it is three time so 3 by 8 3 by 8 what is the probability of x equal to 2 what is the probability of x equal to 2 till now anyone have observed any pattern here mathematics is all about observing pattern Also. anyone have observed any pattern any pa any pattern someone is saying pascal or something i clearly heard something yeah somewhere you will see pascal as well but i don't think uh, what is the probability of x equal to 3 1 1/8 what pattern you observe here what pattern you observe what is the pattern of probability you got probability distribution how probability is coming so what is the probability of observing zero write it here 
what is the property of observing one property of observing two three by eight what is the property of observing one uh, three sorry what is the property of observing one by eight so what pattern you observe what is this pattern one by eight three by eight three by eight uh, one by eight it is binomial pattern you observe. Are you observing here? Three uh, crosses you have taken and x is taking value from 0 to 3. So, it is binomial pattern that you will see it. Okay. 1, 3, 3, 1. Those are binomial coefficient. If you are n equal to 3, so n, n choose k, k is taking value from 0 to n or n equal to 3. So, it would be uh, what is the value of uh, uh, 3 choose 0? 1, 3 choose 1, what is value? 3 choose 2, what is value? 3 choose 3, 1. So, that pattern you observe. 1 by 8 is a factor, you can take common factor outside. Also, binomial pattern you observe. Okay. So, is it clear to everyone what is random variable? What is random variable? It is a function or map which quantify a random outcome of sample space to random number, some random number or some random real numbers. <coughs> and that collection of random number we denote it by omega x, we denote it by omega x. So, I think uh, it might be clear to everyone. Okay. Uh, we do not have much time, just uh, I will go to talk about definition again. So, mathematically you can talk about what is random variable, it is a function x from omega to omega x, omega x is a subset of real number and it is acting as a function that assign a real number x of omega to each outcome of omega in the sample space of a random experiment. Okay? So, one example is same example I have taken it. So, at the x is counting number of heads in three coin tosses. So, x assign each outcome omega in sample space capital omega a number from the set or omega x having number 0, 1, 2, 3. This one it is a mapping that map what I had drawn. So, you can bring it back here. Okay, you can for understanding purpose. Now, second example a player play the following game, a coin is tossed three times, again here, uh, then additional thing is that and the number of heads, heads is counted. So, x will have the same scenario what we have already seen. Now, we are looking further. The player receive dollar one if x is coming equal to two, if that means two head, if you are getting two head then you will receive one dollar and you will receive eight dollar if three heads you are getting it okay and otherwise you will get nothing the three options so what are the value of uh, that that uh, that price price money either one dollar or eight dollar or zero dollar so it is no more x it depends upon x so this that would be function of x so we are uh, actually output here Okay. Let y, so y you call it reward or prize whatever you call, the reward of the player. So, y it happens to be function of x and its outcome can be related back to the sample space. y is function of x and x is function of omega. So, you know from composition function, do you know composition function or not? So, you can trace back y to omega trace back. And uh, what are the possible value of y? 0, 1 or 8. So, you, how you do trace uh, back? That is why you, uh, if it is just single uh, random variable, you come up with a single numeric column uh, row. But if it is, uh, there are two, your y is a function of x, so that is where two you are getting it. So, it is situation is coming like this way. Uh, what you do? This one is your uh, 
call it uh, sample space omega having how many outcomes eight outcomes head 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 tail head those all trace back one two call it omega one omega two omega 2 omega 3 likewise total in total 8 omega are there omega 8 omega 8 okay and he here it is the x line call it what are the value x is taking so uh, uh, starting from omega omega 1 call it head 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 num 1 so that will map to 3 then omega 2 3 4 call it head head tail head tail head tail head head okay just uh, if you go in previous slide you can give omega 1 numerical actually uh, those are taking time to write it here so that's why i am not writing so those three will map to where two three uh, outcome of omega map to omega 2 omega 3 and omega 4 these are mapped to 2 and then 3 other outcome having number of head 1 will map to 1. So, 3 outcome here map to 1. Okay, map to 1 and omega 8 is the last outcome that one is tri triple head that will map to 0. Now, after that you are introducing reward. Reward is it is introduced over x. So, what are the value reward is taking? It is taking, so 2 is mapped to, uh, 0 will map to where? 0 means if you are getting a outcome like tail 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 the what would be reward 0 that means 0 will map to 0 if number of head is 0 reward is 0 if number of head is 1 reward is reward is again 0 sorry if number of uh, head is 2 what is reward 1 If number of head is 3, what is the reward? 8. So, 3 possible rewards are here. So, if I ask what is actual domain of y? What is actual domain of y? It is omega. It is omega. Actually, what is y? Y is what? composition it is coming as a composition if i ask uh, here what is omega y of uh, y of omega how you will write it or y of x x you can uh, It is simple composition function simply I would like to say that uh, it is coming like here. So, it it will trace back to this one. So, what is uh, image of omega 1 under y function? What is image of image of y 1? What is image image of y 1? Uh, omega 1. What is image of omega 1 under y? You can see it. It is 8. This one is omega 1. Na? This one is omega 1 image of omega 1 is 8, image of omega 2 is 1, image of uh, omega 3 is 1, image of omega 4 is 1, image of others omega are 0. So, you can map. So, that uh, composition I am saying that the composition mapping in that way. So, other thing we will cover in next class and uh, whether QR code has been sent for attendance.